Hey guys, how are we going? Back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we doing guys? Hope you're well. Hope you guys have had a great week, weekend, whatever time that you guys are watching this. But we're, today what we're going to do is I'm just in the Chieftain Stronghold and I'm just going to go raid the place. Um, hopefully we can get some decent loot. Yeah, um, usually it's the only time that I want to head down this way to uh, grab said loot. So hopefully that might be something that we could get our hands on today. Um, but before we do that, also I want to have a chat to you guys about Dark Legion as well. So right now we are in the XP challenge. We're at 21 members strong, still a little bit weak on, on the end in terms of uh, member count, but I do hopefully want to get um, a lot of you guys on board so if you guys are looking for a new clan jump on to dark legion okay guys so right now we still got about a day before we are uh, due to reset and end this event but if you take a look at it with about 20 odd players playing at the moment we're not at full strength yet and this is what we've been able to achieve so I want you guys to jump in on the action along with all of uh, all of us. So a lot of new faces have um, come through to Dark Legion. Still got some older players that have been with me and stuck with me for the longest time. So always thankful for that. But looking to get some more new faces in the door. So right now, as you can see, fairly, fairly active and committed to the cause. As you can see, pretty much everyone here is running to their um, base requirements but also more more importantly going way over and above so with that being said if i had a full uh clan of 30 people we might be at epic um uh rewards by now so really wanted to you know sort of show that and you know at least give you guys a bit of an idea that we're here and we want to make sure that we want to get the, uh, the best possible loot uh, when it comes available. So with that being said, I'll be looking to increase uh, Dark Legion, hopefully maybe beyond 40, maybe even up to 50. And we'll be able to get that legendary status each and every time that we participate. Not just only the XP challenge, but all the other challenges involved as well. So I just want to sort of give you guys a bit of an um, update on where we are now. I know for a couple of weeks that I had to basically pull out um, all of the non-existing players and that partly was because of my fault as well that I wasn't sort of available for most most of the time to uh, pretty much you know uh, participate in the clan and keep up to date with everyone else as well so now that we're back doing it I feel a lot more confident um, going back into clan events but also now that we've got more people playing um, it's just that much better. So if you guys don't want to miss out on some decent loot when it comes, uh, definitely join up. Anyway, with that out of the way, basically, as we said before, in the chieftains here, want to rate it up. But also just want to have a quick chat about um, when the next update's going to come. So we haven't had any word yet, and it's always the classic example for this every time that I talk about the, um, with this type of video in mind. Uh, usually the set update that we're waiting on usually drops so hopefully if that's the case um, this will happen as well so we might get an update who knows but at this stage we have no idea um, as to when this will actually happen so unfortunately uh, the mods the developers have not really mentioned anything at the moment so a bit of a pain it is what it is um, I'm not going to, you know, sort of jump up and down about it, but I'm just hoping we'll get it very soon. And at least this way we can start playing with the new weapons, the new armor. Um, but I'm also hoping that it's not just a weapons and armor update only. I'm hoping there's some other things that might come through. Um, you know, whether or not that, that'll be, you know, a new type of events, uh, new zones, who knows. I'm hopefully, I'm, you know what I'm really hoping for? those little adventure events that we had um a few months back they were awesome i hope that we get newer versions of those sometime soon or they might you know start to uh pop them up again and at least give us you know deep uh, different loot for us to get um possibly you know the same type of event pretty much but 
you know, different rewards at the end of it. That's what I'm hoping for. And if that would, were to happen, I think that would be, you know, uh, a worthwhile experience. Um, it also mixes the game up a little bit, gives us something to, uh, different to do as well. So we're not just, you know, sort of uh, forever grinding or anything like that. And it just becomes, you know, a little bit on the mundane side. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but, well, I don't want it to happen, sorry. I mean, you know, we're in this patch now that nothing's actually happening quite a lot. So I'm hoping something like the, you know, uh, the revival, I should say, probably or the adventure quests, um, you know, the, the, the spider event where we had the spider queen, that was pretty awesome. I hope, you know, they do something like that again soon, um, whether it's the same type of um, event, but with just, just with different loot or you know uh different scenarios where we have to sort of fight these you know bosses in different locations you know th that'd be awesome and i hope you know something like that might actually happen further down the line whether it happen you know soon or later um you know who knows but i guess that's something always you know always to sort of think about consider you know if the developers are watching it i'm um, hopefully they take take that as a good idea or a suggestion um but let me know what you think in the comments, you know, down below. Would you be interested in uh, those type of adventure quests? I believe there was one that was a hot air balloon one. I can't remember for the life of me what it was called. I think it was called the Adventures Quest. I think it was. I think we had the Fire Mountain Quest. I think that's right. And then you got the Adventures Quest. If they do something like that again, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be too bothered about them doing it again kind of thing. But more so, you know, give us different loot, give us different things, you know, will they sort of, re uh, you know, could they revive it in time with uh, the new update? So what I mean by that basically is the new weapons, the new armor that we have to, you know, that we can get our hands on. You know, why not make those as rewards or prizes for those quests? I think that'd be great. I think that's a really, really good idea, and I'd be more, you know, more than willing to actually do something like that too. So, you know, just jump back in and get myself involved in it. So, yeah, that's what I think. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments section. All right. So, right now, basically, um, we are just, you know, just casually going through. Hopefully, we get some rare loot, but we'll see. Um, so, a bit of clay bar there, which is always good um we've got this guy here which is the deconstructed version of the stable which i'm sure a lot of you guys know what this guy is so if anything we might get some hay which i, pro I probably actually need at this stage because i am running low on hay um as it has been in the past um hay hasn't really been easy to come by so i don't know whether that's changed or not or if it's just a case that because i'm actually not running dungeons for uh you know um horse items that could be the that could be the other reason why as well so i think it just sort of goes hand in hand but yeah i wouldn't mind getting some more hay so i can actually use the horse a little bit more um you know uh, casually without sort of having to um you know coordinate when i should be uh using the horse because that's always a pain Oop, no 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 so we'll, we'll break in from this angle here and as you probably would be hearing as well, um, we should be greeted with some enemies because you can actually hear them. So the moment that I open this up, let's just run back real quick. And okay, no one's in here, which is good. So it's going to be the next room most definitely. But we'll go ahead and open this uh, chest up first. We'll have a look what's there and then we'll um head to the other side now i'm actually going to take that and i might just leave those behind for now to be honest because i might need them later on but yeah the reason why that i need the stone blocks is because of the xp challenge basically so heavy requirement on stone blocks so any sort of stone block that i'll find if i get anything up to about five or so that's a stack of um, uh, stone for me to collect if I were to harvest that um, in a zone. So, yeah, I'm definitely wanting to take advantage of that. Let's just get rid of this goblin leader. Who else is over here? Let's just take out this one and this one. And 
that one too. No, no. Take down that guy. There we go. And that guy. And I think we've got this to open. Yeah, so, yeah, heavy requirements to craft stone blocks. I mean, it doesn't take that long to craft stone block. But you don't, you always don't want to log back in every, what, 15, 20 minutes for it to, you know, um, complete that first stack takes about 40 stone to make a full stack of stone blocks so it does take quite a bit and does take up a lot of your time so thankfully for myself during the week at work um you know pretty much i'm on the computer all day so in between what i do i just sort of log back in periodically and i just um just update my workstations i think that's probably the most efficient way that i could have thought of to actually you know, uh, replenish all of my materials. So I'll be doing that again next week, that's for sure. So um, I'm actually pretty much on the low side at the moment. So I, I am just recouping everything and uh, getting ready for the next week. So I'm gonna try and craft up as much as I can before the next um, XP challenge. And the other biggest uh, drawback will be at the moment for me particularly is uh, charcoal. I mean, wood, it's basically like water. It just keeps, um, it just keeps depleting all of my stockpiles. I've got no um, wood whatsoever. I always talk about it that I need, um, I've got to take a run to the dark woods or the woodlands even. And yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. Uh, to the point where, you know, I'm pretty much making trips pretty much every second day. That's where it's at for me every second day and I just can't sort of keep up with that sort of demand I mean which is good because I mean at least that way I'm sort of cycling and I'm getting experience and everything else in between at the same time I'm nearly on level 70 at the moment pretty much uh, yesterday's ordeal when I first uh, started uh, participating in the in the XP challenge I was pretty much where I am with my experience bar uh, with the um, uh, on level 68 sorry I should say Sorry, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, let's just open this guy up. That glitch happened again. So let's just grab him. And will I be able to crawl? Okay, get the chest. Yes, I can. Okay. Ah, uh, no, he got me. Usually you can finesse the system and he cannot get anywhere near you and yeah. Basically, he interrupts you, which is fine. Doesn't matter. So, hopefully we get some decent loot out of this chest. That's what I'm really hoping for. And pretty much nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. That, that doesn't matter. Just take that. Drink all of that up. Why not? Leave the key behind. I've got a stack of keys at home. I've still got all the... A uh, majority of the keys that I um actually grabbed or was sort of farming for back at the time when i made my massive um uh, montage for the stable run and that's when i finally completed the stable in that video which was amazing so um yeah i still got a ton of keys back then and this is probably going on uh oh, quite a lot quite a while back i think maybe at least three four maybe five months ago when i first when i got the horse finally so i think that may have been it but yeah, so, yeah, I've still got a ton of keys. Um, I'm just going to hang on to them for now. Whether or not in future where we can actually reuse those keys, uh, you know, for, for other things. So basically what I'm saying by that is, and this is all with future updates in mind as well, guys. So I'm just sort of, you know, uh, having a bit of a, a ramble session with that. Basically what I'm thinking is when they sort of decide to uh, up the end game, um, uh, limit so I think we are pretty much on the end game of uh, level 50 at the moment so obviously the game's not fully implemented in yet so um, there's really no true end game just yet at this stage so basically once that happens obviously we'll get new um, uh, new additions into the game and new development for for the game as well so basically what I'm sort of trying to get at is hopefully if they do like the the wirens or that of the dragons you know will we need those keys again to you know open up uh, different chests and different zones which I'm assuming that might be the case 
Um, I'm hoping when they do the, the new sixth level dungeon um, that they've been talking about from time to time because they do talk about that. Um, so yeah, don't think I'm not actually thinking about that. I am, or, or if I've forgotten it, I've not forgotten about that. So um, I'm hoping that will happen soon. That's what I hope. But again, I can't really take you can't really take my word for it. That's that's where it is at the moment, unfortunately. So it is what it is. But hopefully, um, you know, something like that will happen very soon. I mean, a sixth level dungeon would be insane. But anyway, I'll sort of digress away from what I was originally wanting wanting to say about that. Um, so more or less, yeah, yeah. So if we get the abilities to craft um, other, uh, you know, uh, pets or, um, you know, like. We've got the horse now, you know, do we get the, the, the wiring next or do we get dragons later on or do we have the ability to get those um, th those type of animals there later on? That's what I'm thinking. And that's where I think maybe, possibly, that's where we might be able to have the ability to use those keys and unlock, um, you know, different type of chests. That's what I'm thinking, but, you know, who knows? Who knows at this stage? Um, we don't know, the developers do know. I mean, there is a roadmap available as well. I did talk about last week about wanting to make a, a, an update to the roadmap. Um, at the moment, I'm gonna hold off. I might do it maybe in the next week or so. Um, I just wanted to see if there was any more advancements, you know, in regards to updates to see what we got kind of thing, and then sort of take it from there. I think that might be the way to go. So possibly I might just hang on until we until we actually get the next update and you know whenever that happens or decide to come through then yeah we'll um we'll make an assessment on that and um take it from there i guess so i think that might be the best way of doing it so yeah that's what i'm thinking at the moment but if you guys want me to do you know uh, an update video about all that hit me up in the comments just let me know um if i get enough uh demand for it yeah why not i'll go ahead and make it you know with it you know and not wait for it i guess at the end of the day so um yeah i may as well just do that for you guys but yeah i want you guys to actually let me know if you want to see um a, a rehash of the the roadmap um possibly you know like a, like a little minor update for the upcoming updates if that makes sense anyway back to it um oh yeah okay that was worth it we've got some gold ore uh yeah goodbye to you hello you um what else do i want to give up what else do i want to give up you know what i don't need that i'll take that perfect i have quite a bit of um heavy pelt so i'm not worried about that basically anything that i sort of throw away i mean i don't really have an urgency to take or keep if I really wanted to, I'd probably just come back later on and just, you know, loot what I wasn't able to get, which, you know, might be the way to go, which I might end up doing anyway, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, I just want to finish off the part of the grotto over here and then we'll head up to the, um, to the internal hatch, uh, into the, oops, uh, stone go golem, I thought you were there. Thinking why I didn't, I hadn't seen you at all. Anyway, um, oh, okay. Actually, don't have any proper heals, so let me take that and let's take that just in case. Yeah, so we'll get over to the internal part of the building structure and we'll uh, bust that open. Okay. Always good to bring an iron pickaxe for these sort of uh, things so you guys don't have to, you know, bother with any other weapon. Use that as your, um, as your wall basher. Oh, hello, Mr. Bear. Goodbye, uh, Mr. Bear. Uh, we'll quickly loot up these um, barrels here and we'll probably end up calling it a video. I'll claim these. Actually, when I did the, the XP challenge at the start, I had four, I reckon more than four full trunks worth of um, uh, scrolls. And pretty much after I was done with that, 
I basically walked away with over, uh, it was way over 11,000, um, 11,000 experience points just in that alone. It was absolutely insane. I mean, I had been building it up for a little while before, um, you know, we started getting back into the challenges, but yeah, over 11,000 EXP just in, um, in scrolls alone so very very powerful if you guys want to sort of take some home with you and stock up on that for xp challenges just for that little bit extra um uh you know xp boost yeah you're best off doing that but oop. aside from that yeah it's actually a really really good shout so um just a whole bunch of goblins here all right what do we got here absolutely nothing and usually not the best chest even though that it's a really good chest to loot there's really not a lot of things that do come out from this one usually you get the best down in the grotto you know historically but i say that and what we get now and we get some okay loot so not too bad with that one there so just some started armor and the barbarian boots which is always a good shout so yeah definitely not um, salty about that whatsoever. All right, let's knock down the wooden door. And I think there might be another bear in here, if I'm not mistaken. No, just a goblin. Oop. That doesn't want to die. There we go. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, if I could sit on this, I'd sit on this and end the video, but I'm just going to stand just here. And yeah, guys, if you like what you've seen today, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below about everything that I spoke about today. I really want to hear your thoughts about these things. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, by all means, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell at the same time. Make sure you don't miss out on any future videos or content that I'll be uploading. Anyway, guys, take it easy and I'll catch you next time.